Lindsay, how are we all today? My name's Linda and we're here to heal hearts and awaken souls. Today we're going to be talking about how we can restore trust and, well, for cultivating trust after we've had heartache and pain. And for all of us that have had heartache and pain, we know that it's never an easy thing to do. And sometimes when we think we've got it right, we end up going down the same old road again. So we don't want to do that anymore. So what are the keys today for making sure that we don't go down the road of heartache and pain again? And it takes time, okay? Now, I just want to make sure that we're here. If you're here, hit a like, give me a thumbs up, or give me a heart, send some love. And I'll just pull up our list of keys for today. Okay, so here we have our keys for cultivating trust after heartache and pain. And we've got to be realistic. Sometimes the heartache and pain isn't just about a relationship. It, um, it can be around friendships. It can be around any type of relationships. So even work relationships, you can feel betrayed. Uh, lots of things can happen in life, okay? It can happen in the medical industry. We can feel that our doctor has betrayed us. Uh, so on and so forth. So what do we need to do? Well, the first thing is we need to give time, time. We give time, time in order that we don't rush into anything. Okay? So if we apply that to relationships that we're hoping to last a lifetime, we don't want to rush into anything after we've had a heartache and pain because we need to know firstly that we've healed and that we can develop new skills around trusting again, okay? Because obviously the skills that we've got so far aren't working. Step two, acknowledge your heartache. Okay, one of the things that I've known throughout life is that we ignore that we're in pain and we keep going. It doesn't do us any good. Okay, because then we are still making decisions out of the pain that we've been through, even though we've ignored it. Some people say, oh, yeah, I've moved on. Have you? You've got to ask the question, have I moved on? Just because I don't think of that person or that situation anymore, have I moved on? Have I healed at a soul level? Is my heart feeling full of life? Or am I still looking for somebody to help me solve these problems? Okay. If we don't ask the questions, we don't ever go into a loving relationship again in a conscious manner, okay? And the first, one thing that you definitely want to do if you're going into a full-time relationship is making sure that you're doing it in a conscious manner. Tip three, we're going to journal for clarity. We're deep people. We feel deeply. The wounds are deep, okay? We can't avoid that. So what we want to do is journal. Now, if you don't like to write, that's okay, because in this day and age, there are plenty of apps where you can just sit down and record your voice, okay? And the whole idea is to get it out. We want to get it out in, because it's freeing and it gives us insight into where we've been and where we want to go, okay? It's wisdom inside ourselves that we need to unlock. Whatever you do. And I want you to hear this very, very clearly. Whatever you do, don't rush into another relationship or another friendship, okay? Just don't rush. We've got our life. Take your time, okay? I can't tell you enough how giving time, time, and also consciously choosing to say, well, no, I'm going to take my time to work through whatever it is, and, and to build a life of joy for myself, okay? So that when I come into somebody else's life, I'm bringing joy. I'm not just going to bring the triggers that come with me. I'm going to have joy and we're going to have laughter and we're going to build a good friendship first, okay? And these things are like a building, okay? When you see a building go up and if you think of a multi-mega story building like a relationship, they lay a firm foundation first, a foundation that goes down, deep down, before they build something large on top of it, okay? So they're laying a brick at a time and they're building up and up and up. 
if you look at a friendship or a relationship like that, you're not going to make an instant decision just on one conversation or two conversations that I know I can get along with this person or that I can commit to this person. You can't. You haven't laid any kind of foundation, all right? Be good friends with people first. And above and beyond anything else, know that you can be a good friend to somebody before you go into any type of building firm foundations, okay? Tip number five, become whole within yourself. Be that as a single or apart from family or by gaining a new set of friends. Sometimes life dishes us up that we lose everything, okay? And at the beginning of losing everything, we think, woe well, is me because we're human and it's a normal thing to do. And then we go, right, where to from here? Now, we've got to admit some people stay in the woe is me phase for a pretty long time and nothing you do can shift them and that's okay. They've got to sort it out in their time, time in time, the magic four-letter word of today. And But for us, who are proactive in life, we go, okay, where to from here? And where to from here isn't diving into another relationship or another friendship. It's regaining a whole heart so that we know that we're giving from a whole heart. Have you seen the, I think it's a meme that goes around the internet and it basically says, look after yourself first because you can't give from an empty well. And that basically is the truth. Unless you've filled yourself up with life and love, energy, you're going to be giving to somebody else from a dry well. And you don't want that, okay? And maybe another question is, how can my well always be full of life and living and abundance, okay? And that that aspect will come from a spiritual aspect as well, being able to always have a replenished well. Tip six, always seek professional health for accountability and maintaining, and my absolute uh, English writing's off there, healthy friendships. So we do need those around us who are going to be honest with us when we're having a relationship or a friendship, a budding friendship, that isn't on par. I'll never forget one time I was um, talking to a guy on the internet, you know, internet dating stuff and, you know, live streaming, etc., etc. And my kids just turned around and said, Mum, you don't develop pet names that early in a relationship. And I went, you don't. Well, I didn't have a clue. So if you have those around you who are willing to tell you the truth, it can save you a lot of heartache and pain. And see, when they said that to me, it didn't mean I just cut the relationship off. It meant, okay, I'm really going to start looking out and see if there are any other red flags or triggers or anything else I need to be aware of. And one of the things that, we can definitely be aware of is people that rush things. Anybody who's in a rush, they're not a builder, okay? They're not going to want to build a foundation and they're not going to want to build it one brick at a time. They're going to have no foundation and they're going to have a building that crumples pretty quickly. So we need to build slowly and with a very conscious objective of, you know, sussing each other out. What are they like? What do they show me? And one of the keys I should have put down is people who talk the talk and don't walk the walk, so their actions don't reflect their words, or actually, and then further down the track, their actions should speak louder than words. So what they're showing you in their actions will give you a really good key as to their character. Okay? So take your time and uh, don't rush anything and tomorrow I want to look at trust a bit more about the values around trust that we need to look at and the key ingredients for us rebuilding a trust so today it was just just the surface and tomorrow we'll go a bit deeper around trust and what needs to happen for us to learn how to consciously choose trust Okay, thanks for joining in today. It's been wonderful to have you with me and I look forward to going over trust tomorrow. Bye for now.